Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how you can use scene states within 3ds Max. So I've got a basic scene set up here as you can see I've got one camera, one light and some objects and uh, if we look through camera number one you can see we look at the sphere and uh, yeah let me show you guys quickly how you can use uh, the scene states to actually render multiple camera angles in 3ds Max. So I'm going to go into the perspective view. Let's just zoom out here a little bit. And let's say we want to set up our first scene or our first shot uh, to focus on the sphere. So currently we have the light uh, pointing at the sphere and also the camera, as you can see. And we're going to save this as scene state number one. So I'm going to go to tools here at the top and I'm going to click on manage scene states. And then we're going to click on save and then you can give it a name. I'm just going to call this, uh, let's call it shot one. And you can leave all these uh, selected by default. That's fine. Then click on save. And now I'm going to move my camera to save my shot number two. So I'm going to click on the camera and I am just going to rotate that towards the cylinder. Let's just look through that camera to make sure that we've got the angle correctly. That's looking perfect. So let's go back into perspective view. Let's just zoom out here a bit. And now I'm just going to move my light over as well so that we're actually putting the light on our cylinder. Uh, something like that. And then in your manage scene states window, I'm going to click on save again and I'm going to call this shot two. All right, so let's just save that. Um, let's just test our scene states before we go to the render setup. So I'm going to click on shot one and then I'm going to click restore and have all that selected. Click on restore again and you'll see that our camera and our light will actually go back to that state, which is pretty cool. And let's just select shot number two, click on restore again, restore, and you'll see that will jump to our cylinder. And as you can see, I only have three frames for my uh, animation setup, which is fine for this tutorial. And um, now basically I'm gonna show you guys how you can render both these shots in one go to separate folders, which is pretty handy. So first of all, we're gonna go to rendering and then we're gonna go down to batch render. And then we wanna add our first render. So I'm gonna click on add here at the top and then you can give it a name just to make things a little bit easier. So I'm going to call this shot one. And then very importantly, under scene state, I'm going to select that scene. So that's called shot one. So I'm going to select that. And then under camera, just make sure that you're selecting the correct camera. And in this case, it's camera 001. All right. So I'm going to click on output path and let's just go to the desktop, create a folder, go into that folder. And then I'm going to create a folder for shot one. Right, go into that folder and we're going to give it a file name for the render. So I'm going to call it shot one as well. And let's say we want to render PNG files, click on save. That's all fine. Click on OK again. And um, that's basically our first shot. So let's set up our second shot or second camera angle as well. So click on add and I'm going to give it a name shot two. Select our camera, same camera, so camera 001. And then we're going to select our scene, scene number two or shot number two as we called it. And then we're going to set the output path as well. So I'm going to go to the desktop and go to that folder. And then I'm going to create a folder called shot two. All right, go into that folder and give it a file name and also a type. So I'm going to select PNG again, click on save. That's fine. Cool. So now we can just double check our settings. So it's shot one and that's going to be saved as shot one PNG. Um, we're using scene state shot one as well. And for shot two, we're going to save it to that location and we're going to use scene state shot two. And then we can click on render. So let's see what happens. Okay, so our render is complete. So let's just close that down and we can close down our batch render as well. And then I'm just going to open up Explorer, go to the desktop. And as you can see, we've got our two folders. So we've got shot one. And as you can see, we've got those renders in there with a the sphere. And if we go to shot two, we will have our other camera angle. So as you can see, this is really um, a cool feature where you can set up one scene and then you can um, kind of program or kind of set up a specific shot in that scene, save that as a scene state and then change your camera so you can set up another shot. And then you can render that using your uh, batch renderer. So you can have all your shots set up in one 3ds Max file. You can even use different cameras. And then you can use the batch renderer to basically render those camera angles separately, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And also remember to click on that subscribe button if you want to be notified of weekly tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Cheers, bye.